it's Friday night. Um, this road will be really crowded, although it's uh, a quarter past uh, 10 p.m. My first impression on the uh, General Electric Sportlight Ultra, indeed the, uh, the light is colder. Um, I couldn't uh, stop noticing that uh, it's their light seemed to be somewhere uh, between the uh, good enough light of uh, white vision or cool blue intense and the, the team one of uh, cool blue hyper plus for instance again at this point the uh, the street is so well lit from the LEDs on the street poles that um, I cannot uh, know exactly if the lights are on or off just right now as they are there's a guy be uh, behind me I will uh, let let him uh, pass me by There are two actually. Okay. The thing with uh, all this, um, let's say, uh, um, not so popular brands, although General Electric is a name in the industry, but everything else besides Philips and Osram, um, they're just trying to, to mimic what already is on the market so they don't bring anything uh, anything new under the sun no halogen that really out is outstanding and is uh, changing the game but for what they uh, they say they offer uh, indeed the, the light I can tell you it fits really well with the 4000k uh, parking light LEDs from Philips So now on the, uh, this section of the road where there isn't any other uh, ambient light. If this is what you want, so the, the light is uh, is 
well is good enough so it's no problem I, I can see really very well without uh, struggling my advice regarding these bulbs feel free to choose really what is uh, the least expensive where you are although personally you know I would put Philips white vision everywhere I managed to uh, catch the, the guys that uh, passed me a few minutes ago. So this will be on the record the the crowdest road test I've uh, I ever done. One more thing, I'm uh, thankful for the fact that uh, these bulbs work considering the condition they were uh, shipped in. It's just uh, amazing they uh, survived the, uh, the shipping. But until uh, I don't know the uh, the next uh, halogens that I will uh, test, and right now I don't have any other left. So in the next say two months or so, um, I will keep. Uh, I will keep this uh, Sportlight Ultra 4200K. I'm, I would really want to see how much uh, they would last. Behind me right now again are two cars. I try my best not to interfere with the recording, but it's it's really tough. Hopefully this guy will uh, 
pass me by also since nothing comes from the front there we go overall what I can say they are okay if you if you manage to get them on a serious discount then uh, I would go for it but uh, I, I still uh, would choose Philips for the, the quality the packaging is also uh, really cheap and uh, I can say this uh, General Electric come in the worst package out of all the halogens I've tested. Um, if we leave aside the blister uh, packaging, which <laughs> uh, honestly I find it uh, better than uh, that, uh, that box where you cannot uh, take them out uh, in a safe way with, without risking to touch them unless you pull them uh, from the bottom of the box as uh, you'll see me uh, doing uh, in the review, unboxing and road test video Now we can see the difference that car in front of me had LEDs. The difference in light color and uh, intensity. But he also used the high beams uh, when, uh, when he passed me. That guy didn't turn off the high beams at all. You can't help it. Soon I'll arrive to the parking lot where I uh, start the road test down here.
let's see how this one will go.